Hello, Mage Tech fans. Um, this is Mage Tech. I thought I would offer tuto a tutorial on how to set up groups in the web interface called Webman. Um, first, you need to log into uh, the Webman interface through your root user. Um, when you do, you should see this screen. Um, next, uh, go to the Webman tab, which is to your left here and you click on webmin users now you should see two sections there's a webmin users section and a webmin group section um, what you want to do then would be create a new webmin group obviously because you want to set up uh, a group specifically for users or administrators whichever one you want to choose or you can do a guest or whatnot so I would go with create a new webmin group then name it. I will name it user2 just because this is just an example. Um, you can put in a description, it's not really necessary. I, I'll put example of groups. Alright. Now you'll see another section here saying available available webmin modules. Click on that. Um, there is tons of information here. You can see all these modules listed here. Um, I'm assuming you guys are a little bit more experienced on setting up your your server so I don't need to explain all these. Now what I usually do is then give permissions to Apache, MySQL, um, VS FTPD, but there's also a couple other servers like WFTP server and um, Pro FTPD, which those are all different. Whichever one you found was easiest to set up, to go with that. Um, then I would also give permission to File Manager and PHP config configurations, just because some users like to be able to work with their PHP setups. So then you hit Create and as you can see here it goes back to your webmin users page with the two sections and you can see users 2 right here okay um, next thing to do is click on users 2 now you'll see your group here example of groups uh, available webmin modules but there's an extra tab permissions for all modules so if you click on that you can say uh, you can root them to their user's home directory or give them a specific directory where they're rooted. Um, I usually click on user's home directory just because um, when you do set up a, a webmin user, it you can specify which directory they, they should be rooted in. Um, so I usually go with that. And then I also say I hide dot files, which means they can't move up or down move up above their directory or see that there's an option to move up beyond their directory um, and then they say and then I usually go as same as webmin login so that they can't browse all the files just the root directory it's really kinda simple I click then save to save that information now there's a couple other extra things that you can do when you click on user 2 says available webmin modules now we already clicked on which ones are available but now there's an option of, of linking to see uh, what other options within that module you can set up so Apache web server for example I can click on takes a minute now there's all of these options here um, you can say uh, basically you can give them permission to edit all the the servers that are listed or you can do selected servers which means um, you can specify which one they're only allowed to edit um, I usually do this just so that they don't see all the servers my main server is is kind of important so I don't want you know my users to mess around with that so if I created already a web server for them I would select you know either fancy pants or board and then they would be rooted to only being able to edit that server. Um, it's really helpful. Um, you can also return to the the user list here and go back to users too. Uh, you can also edit the MySQL database server and as you can see they ha pretty much have root directory to all all the databases but if you want them only to 
work with the selected you click selected and I could say fancy pants and then information schema to select those two you have to hold down control though uh, userman is very very well done as far as configurations the problem is, is it's not very uh, it's not very user friendly so and I can't find very much documentation on how to use it properly but you know that's why I'm making this tutorial so you know that's how you set up user groups it's pretty simple alright